Jody. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to show you how to make this card that features our new spiral flower die and also has our new scallops embossing folder. So I'll start with this background first. Um, it's a little hard for me to move and use the Big Shot, so I did a few things ahead of time. This is a piece of crumb cake cardstock that is four inches by five and a quarter. I embossed it with the scallops embossing folder, and then I'm going to take this Illuminate ink pad with the sponge dauber and add a little bit of shimmer. If I hold this one up that's already done, you see that shimmer on there versus just the plain cardstock. So to get that, all I did was put my dauber in the ink and then just put it over, rub it over back and forth. And it, it'll hit all of the card, but it'll really focus on those raised edges from the embossing folder. And you can see the difference how I've gone here and not here yet. So it's a subtle um, addition to the card, but it really makes a big difference. So I'll just glide over it like this, and then that layer will be ready to go. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is with the spiral flower die. Um, when you use the Big Shot dies, you can put several layers of cardstock on at once to cut them out. I used one piece of Coastal Cabana and one with Daffodil Delight. So it just um, runs through the Big Shot, cuts these out, and then what I'll do is curl these to make the flowers. Now I want to point out, these two flowers look different. This one's a little bit tighter and smaller. This one's more relaxed and a little bit larger. These are from the same die. They both start started like this. So it just depends on how tightly you curl it for how the um, flower will end up looking. So what I want to do is use a bone folder. Stampin' Up! recommends just taking a bone folder on the end like this. It just breaks some of the paper fibers and makes it curl a little bit more naturally for you. <clears throat> You start with this smaller end here, and you can either just take it in your finger and curl it, or you can wrap it around something. For this one, I'm just going to curl it in my finger. I want it to be pretty tight, so I'll just keep winding it up like this. Probably be a little bit easier if all fingers were functioning properly, but I think it will work. When you get down here to the end, you'll just roll up this last little bit, and then this part here, this last circle, is where you'll want to put your glue. Now you can use glue dots, you can use um, a liquid Tombow glue, just for convenience I am using hot glue. I know it'll hold well and I don't think I could hold this in place as long as I would need to with the other types of glue. So I'm just going to let it come out a little bit and slide that underneath. So I'll just press into it for a moment and hold it here. So you can see this flower is actually really tight, much tighter than the first one. Maybe it'll loosen up just a little here. You can just kind of turn it to get that to loosen. And I think what's cool about it is that every time you do it, it's going to have a different look. So depending on how tight you do it, it's gonna look different every time. So that would just set aside to dry a little bit. Another thing that you can do, I'll use the bone folder again just to break the fibers a little, help it get a start on curling. I took my um, paper piercing tool and I'm just going to start it on here and wrap that around like that. So I just continue wrapping here. It's not quite as tight. It'll give it a little bit more of a relaxed look. And now when I get it down here to the end, I'm just going to slide it off. And then same thing, I want to put some glue on the end here. And then I'll just kind of set this in there. Now this one I'm letting loosen up quite a bit before I set it down. And it just makes the circle, or flower I should say, 
bigger and more relaxed looking. So I just hold it there till the glue is set. I'll pull the final one in again so you can see it. What I did then is just, um, I actually hot glued these flowers to this card. Again, you could use glue dots, you could use the liquid tombow glue. Um, and then I put one of our large rhinestones right in the center of each. This piece that you see here, the Enjoy, is from a new stamp set that we have called Simply Celebrate. And the banner piece is from our banner framelit dies. It's a set of six here. And um, this was the third smallest one that I used to create this on here. And the color on that is Strawberry Slush. So lots of fun with the flower spiral die. You can get a different look every time and create lots of flowers for cards, scrapbook pages, tags, and even a bouquet of flowers. Thanks so much for watching. For daily creative inspiration, visit my blog or find me on Facebook at Jody Reinert Stamps.